I've been waking up way too late during this like period of break to the new year because I've had like days off of work and stuff like that. With that said though, uh, we are going to do some vlogging. We're going to do some pickups, kind of like that normal format. But the only difference here is that I'm going to sprinkle in some of my everyday fits and kind of give you guys information, maybe even help show you guys where you can buy some similar, you know, type items. Nothing crazy, you know what I mean? So we're gonna sprinkle that in. And of course, this can't be a Keezy vlog without getting some drone shots. So we will get some drone shots. So let's get it. <laughs> Yo, that is one way to just end the day. <laughs> Super early. Oh my god, bro. I thought I had extra wings in this thing, bro. What you mean? Shit. <laughs> Damn. I really crashed that shit. I haven't crashed a drone since like five years ago or four years ago, man. Yo, that is shit. That's shit. All right, what camera stores they got out here, man? I can't. I can't just. I can't just end this day here. I gotta go find a camera store. You feel me? And see see what they talking about. See if I can give me some wings, bro. <laughs> that shit really crashed into the fence. That's, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right, let's call Sammy's camera. Hey, do you guys sell wings for a uh, DJI Mini 2? Uh, we don't have any in stock at the store. Um, you could try going online. Uh, okay. Do you, you know any other uh, camera stores that sell like drone parts out here in, the, um, in Frisco? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. All right, no worries. Thank you. Bro, if Sammy's camera don't got it, this is not looking pretty. Let's try Best Buy. See what they're talking about. Best Buy probably won't even pick up the damn phone. They'll probably put me through an automated. Thanks for calling Best Buy in San Francisco. Our holiday deals. Are you trying to reach your local store? Yeah. Why Talk to the store. Just a minute. They better hurry up. The goddamn sun's going down right now. <laughs> damn. I can't believe I did that. What can happen will happen, man. I thought I had bars. I thought I had real bars. I ain't got the bars. I ain't got the bars today. All right, so they put me on hold for too long. I'm just going to go over there. See if they got it. If not, then this this day was shot, man. I had a whole thing planned. I was gonna go up to the Golden Gate, you know what I mean? I was gonna get the, the full UAP, but now <laughs> I can't do that now. Damn. Well we'll see though. If Best Buy got it, they got it. But if they don't, we gonna, you know what I mean? We're gonna have to do something else. So alright man. This is this was a fail, yo. <laughs> a big fail. <laughs> alright, they better have this shit here, man. All right, today was on some shit. Best Buy did not have it. I could go to the Apple store and see if they got it. If not, I gotta order online. Now I can't fly my drone for a couple days. This is shit. <laughs> Murphy's Law, what can happen will happen. Anyways, I am at Logger SF. Let's just go see what they're talking about. And then um, we're gonna cut to some other footage. <laughs> make, make, somehow make this better. Cause like, man, every, since I crashed it now, it's like, bro, now I'm thinking like, yeah, I should have had extra wings this whole time. You know what I mean? Man. Let's see if this full snacks is up in here. Every time I come here, he ain't even in here. Let's see. What's up, fool? Not much, chilling. I'm all right. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, hello. Where's that full snacks at, bro? I've been here damn near eight times now. He stopped, he stopped working here? He was never really working here. He just always hung up. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the OG one has the Frankenstein on the on the on the wrist. Yeah. But it's nice though. They always remake all the wrong shit though. You seen the new? You seen the new Marvel? Yeah, I see. So bad. It's terrible. Like it's the new Marvel is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. They didn't even make like the nice box or anything like that. It's just like a regular old bait box. What are these like thirteen hundred dollars? Next week gonna be a thousand. Apparently they're coming out with a new model, another new model. So it's so dumb, dude. It's like so. Just imagine the original Air Force One or Bapesta on top, and then they're gonna use this sole on the bottom. Like why? You know? Like why? Why don't you just? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, either leave it alone or just like, just remake the original one. What are, let me see this, the, the brown one. Was this a Thanksgiving theme? What is this? Yeah. Really? Sure, this is some exclusive shit though, right? This wasn't like available to everybody. Were you guys dunk collectors before all this hype? I was. I'm not into dunk. I know you were, huh? So you got a, you got a stash back there or what? No, all that shit's 
Oh, damn. So then what do you guys think is sneaker of the year then? Uh, Don't tell me it's a dunk. The what? The Union. The Union 4? I'd probably go with a... Everyone would probably say Mosaic. That, that is for sure not sneaker of the year. Sneaker of the year. <laughs> University gold for our store. For the store, University <laughs> Gold 12. <laughs> Why is that the, that's the hottest seller? That's the best. I made so much money on the university. Gold Why is that the best seller? That's an EDD shoe of the year, bro. <laughs> Instant cop <laughs> after you get your check, huh? Nah, that's the way everybody came here for. That was like the beginning when everyone like, Bro, I think when we sold probably like 300 yeah. pairs of them. 300 pairs of 12? To the whole hood. You guys, should, you guys should sell some true religions to go with it. Everybody's saying that the Jordan uh, Off White Fours is the sneaker of the year. Those are, I still want those boxes. Those went missing, actually. Huh? They went missing. What do you mean they went missing? The you don't see anyone, you barely see any pairs on the market. That's why, sneaker of the year. Everyone bought them, bro. Everyone's wearing them. Nah, that's pretty cool. Are fucking hoarding that shit, probably. Anyways, I'm finna head out. Going, man? Nice day. seeing you. Nice seeing you. Later, man. Say what's up to Dennis for me. Yo, today is weird. I didn't think that I was gonna crash that shit and then my plans would change. Since we're gonna take that L, we gotta go get some ginger shots. We gotta go get some shots. Yep. Can I get a ginger shot? Not everything in life will go your way. So, with that said, we're gonna take these shots. Ooh, don't spill. If you guys remember last time I took the L in the jacket, this is the sequel of taking that L. And today we're taking the L because I crashed my goddamn drone. Let's take this, you feel me, to go with it. All right. Mmm. Oh, they put like more lemon in there than ginger. Mm. <coughs> that feels good though. That ginger's starting to burn. We're gonna continue this series where if you take a L, <laughs> take some kind of L, you gotta take a ginger shot or a wheatgrass shot. You gotta do something positive. You gotta do something progressive. You gotta do something healthy. Healthy. Then this. This this was healthy, but god damn man. Anyways, man, let's 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 head back, man. Let's talk about these fits and these pickups. Let's get it. So like I promised in this video, we were gonna talk about some of the fits, just everyday items that I've been wearing recently. And just pre-warning, when we talk about everyday fits, it's nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you have been watching my channel, you already know that majority of the time I'm always wearing black anyway, no different than like right now. And then since we are talking about everyday stuff that I've been wearing, everything that you've seen right here is kind of what I've been wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that said, um, from top to bottom, when we talk about this hat here, this is the Oakland A's hat that I picked up four or five vlogs ago. I can't even remember how long ago it was now, but I like this um, A's cap because the inside actually has a silk lining instead of the regular, I don't know what kind of material they normally use. I think it's some kind of cotton, but this one for sure is not cotton because it's super soft and it's really thin too, which makes the hat fit a million times better as a size seven because sometimes on a size seven or regular new air cap, it, it fits a little bit too tight, but then the, the seven and an eighth is a little bit too big as far as a fitted goes. But when I put this one on, it fits like a glove, it fits perfect. Um, and there's no like bulging on the side. Sometimes you might see that from New Era caps, especially after they get wet or people sweat in them. You can see the band on the outside, but this one seems pretty seamless and you can't see it from the outside. So I just like the way that it's been fitting me. So anytime I, you know, I find a new hat or something that's been working for me, other than the, of course, the Haven Court, the Frisco hat that we just dropped, um, I've been wearing that a ton. Funny, we talk about the Haven Court hats. I actually have, this was like, this was like the first sample of uh, the Frisco hat that I made. This was months ago now, right? This is like four or five months ago. The shape is all off. Like, look how much it tilts. It tilts on the back there. And then also, I mean, this was just like a whatever logo because this is during a time where I wasn't trying to sell anything. I was just really making hats for myself because that's kind of like what I like to do. And of course we did the old school Frisco logo uh, on the front there. And it's the wrong color. It's the wrong color. It is the right size, but the front of the cap is just way too big. They did do, they did do the uh, gray bottom white lining back then, but 
Um, I didn't do the full on tagging throughout the whole thing because it was just like a one of one type of deal. Uh, and it even had some, it has a lot of stuff wrong with this hat, let's just put it that way. It was just chilling here. But yeah, as far as that goes, the, the Haven Court, the Frisco hat that we made with the star, the signature star on there, um, I've been wearing that quite a, quite a bit, even though the last couple of videos I haven't been wearing this one. I just kind of rotate between the two. When it comes to the jacket, I mean, you guys, you guys already know, I, I like these like workwear type jackets. Um, honestly, there is nothing special about these jackets. This is like the most plain shit you can ever wear. <laughs> it's the most mundane, you know, jacket you can wear. And you know, but quite honestly, it's really affordable and I just like the way that they fit. You know, Dickies came out with these jackets with the padding on the inside, it's only for 60 bucks. It's like, that's not bad. It's not that warm though, so if you've never bought this jacket before, just quite honestly, I, I would layer up if it's really cold where you live. But if it's not that cold where you live, you know, 65 degree weather, you could still rock a jacket like this. 60 degree weather, 55 degree weather, you could still rock something like this. Anything lower than that, bro, you're gonna have to, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to buckle up and get you, get you a t-shirt, a white beater, a hoodie, and, and the Eisenhower to go on top of it, right? Um, or if you want to spend a little bit more cash, instead of getting the Dickies joint, you can actually get yeah. you can get the Carhartt one that I've already shown you guys this. Um, I only talked about it once, but I've been wearing it on the channel. This is just the regular Detroit jacket. Uh, the biggest difference though is there's a huge visual difference. So if you see right here, the Dickies jacket really kind of keeps its shape. And I like how the, everything about the jacket almost looks as if it's brand new, but it really keeps the shape. Even up here, the collar, it's like as if it's brand new. Maybe it's the material that they use is really thick. I don't know, but watch this. So if I put on the Carhartt joint, the Carhartt, yeah, it's made out of canvas. And maybe that's canvas too, but a different type. But this is a lot thicker, but also it doesn't really keep its shape, meaning that like here, it doesn't really look brand new. It's, it looks like it's been used and it just, it curls out. So you'd be like going throughout half your day and it's just like your jacket is like looking like this the whole time. I mean, it's, it's a small complaint, but I do like it to kind of keep its shape. And that's the reason why I've been buying more of the, uh, the Dickies jacket, which another segment of this video, we're gonna see if we can go pick up uh, the gray colored one uh, in the Dickies joint as well. Oh, also before I move on, uh, the Carhartt joint on the back, if you look down here, it actually curves on the bottom, on the, on the very bottom. Uh, but when it comes to the Dickies jacket, it doesn't do any curving and it's just, it's just straight on the bottom. Hopefully the camera's picking that up uh, pretty well there, but it's just straight on the bottom. And I actually prefer it to be straight because it, it gives it more of a, it's, it looks higher than it is, looks like a longer jacket on you from the back. Um, as far as this t-shirt goes, this is a sample wash t-shirt that I'm making right now. I don't wanna talk too much about it because it's not like I'm actually announcing its drop or anything like that. But it has this really nice wash on the outside that I brought to a wash house. And it's going to have somewhat of a boxy tailoring to it. Um, I'll maybe show some B-roll on another video and we can talk about it there. Uh, with that said, as far as pants go, um, this is a pair of samples of Haven Court denim that I made that was a pair of double knees. And I wear them even though I'm not dropping this one. And there's another pair of uh, double knee or double fronts uh, workwear pants that I'm going to talk about later in this episode um, that I am for sure coming out with. But this one I'm not. And the reason why is because uh, they discontinued this fabric. And long story short, uh, I hit up a company out in LA that had this Japanese 16 ounce, perfect 16 ounce Japanese fabric, black selvaged on the bottom. So this is made out of denim, this is not canvas uh, when we talk about workwear pants because if you think about the Carhartts and the other brands, like workwear uh, companies will always use canvas material for their like painter pants or their double knee carpenter pants, right? But this, my approach was that I wanted to use raw denim and this ended up being a perfect uh, fabric for it and it really worked out and I really love the shape of these and the way that it really hovers over the shoe uh, and the way that I cut it up and where I sent it to the factory for them to produce it in that way. Uh, and then I finally got it back after two or three samples. And then when I got it back, um, I go back to the company in LA and I'm like, yo, like, so I'm ready. Like, I, you know, how many, how many yards do you have uh, right now? I probably need like 510, 520 yards in order to create 150 to 160 pairs of pants or 200 pairs of pants. And the reply back that I got, he was like, oh, we ran out, it's discontinued. And I'm like, I was like, really? Like, 
all of that, I went through, I went through like three months of going back and forth with my, with my supplier because I had finally found that swatch and that fabric where I'm like, this is perfect. Like this works out and I, st I still love the pants. I still wear them today, even though there still needs to be some tweaks on it, you know what I'm talking about? But I was like, I'm ready, but they didn't have any more of the fabric. So now I'm just left with this one pair of pants that I just wear every day or every other day besides the one I'm just gonna show you later. Yeah, that's just long story short, it just didn't work out. Um, and I was just kind of pissed about that. But um, I do just like the fit of these and that's the reason why I put these on every day. They are a black pair of pants. Yeah, they did mess up the sample in the very beginning cause I don't know how they messed that up, but the factory, I guess, didn't know that you were supposed to close this up. I mean, granted there are some workwear pants out there where they do have this open so then uh, carpenters can put knee pads in there. I think that's what they thought when they made this pair and I was like no I want it closed but I haven't uh, gotten it sewn back. Maybe I can maybe I can go back to Eldo's tailoring the tailoring lady and tell her to sew it up and just call it a day. Other than that um, as far as like the fit goes these are not a flared pair of pants. Sometimes people ask me that. I've posted pictures on on Instagram and even on my snap story and people are like oh those flared are those flared. I'm like no these are these are straight, and if they are flared a little bit, they only flare maybe a centimeter from knee to the opening on the bottom because I just love to cover my Air Force Ones or whatever sneaker that I'm wearing right now anyway as far as how I like to wear my shoes and my pants. I like to cover it up just enough so then you can either see the swoosh or if I'm wearing a pair of babes this, it's just enough so you can see the star on the side there. And I don't know, that's just what I'm feeling right now. That's what I like per the moment. I'm sure it will change later on, but um, that's how I'm feeling. And again, just they just fit really well, uh, and it is what it is. Oh, and of course, how can we forget the sneakers? The past like two or three months, I've been investing more into Air Force Ones, even though I already have been. I've been buying Babestas, but the biggest difference is that when you you know when you buy Babestas, 95% of the Babestas, or in my case, I don't wear them. You know, 98% I don't wear them. I, I it's like more so purely collector's pieces. Um, even a pair like this, I want to complete the set, get the green one, get the gray one, um, and I think there might have been one, one other color, but I like to collect them more than I like to wear them. Um, there is one pair I did wear out a couple times, but you know, they start to crack on you and whatever. You can see the toe box there. Hopefully that's picking that up in the light there, but you know, they just end up cracking and you know, you spend all that money because they're, they're more, you know, to me, they're more of uh, something to put on display than it is to just put on every day and I just love the silhouette of the Air Force One or the Babe Stood, you know, same thing. Um, so I told myself that I'm just going to start buying more um, Air Forces that have like more of that 2000s feel to it and I sound like a broken record at this point because you guys already heard me talk about this shoe. I picked this up at Foot Action, the last, last video, I can't remember. Oh, here's a good example. So this, you guys have seen me wear these on the channel. Um, for people that have been asking where I got these, I Nike ID this or Nike by you. So just go on Nike by you, just panda, panda out the sneaker. I should probably paint. I need to paint the air there. I'll probably make it look a lot better. You're not going to get more cushion on the inside. This is just the standard, you know, whatever they're pumping out right now, either 2020 or by the time you're watching this in 2021. Uh, it's just that very stiff inside. Kind of feels like not even cardboard. It feels it's like a plastic or something like that. Really no cushion on the inside either, um, but when we talk about something like this, you do get just a little bit more uh, cushion on the inside and on the sides. It just, man, it just works out so well and it's it's a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. Let's cut to some vlogging because I I know I, I talk about a lot about these workwear jackets, uh, but I want this in gray. I really want this in a gray color. So instead of wearing the you know the gray or the black, which we we're gonna go pick up the, the gray one. I know there's gotta be one store out there that sells the gray one, maybe in Frisco or something like that. Um, but we're gonna go check that out. We're gonna run that footage and uh, we'll head back here. parking spots where like, the sh like look at this the sun is just beaming and then when i put this down it's like half my body's lit up anyways uh i'm in the mission right now i'm gonna stop by this little workwear store um because i was looking for these like different colored uh just the regular dickies workwear jackets so let's go ahead and head inside and see what they're talking about 
Should be right here somewhere. I didn't even know this place was here. I just put it, found it on Google Maps. Looks like they got every every brand, bro. Wrangler, Ben Davis, Diggies, all that. Check it out. How you doing? Good. Whoa, it's a big pair of pants. I'll take this. Whoa. Cool, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I wish you guys had the uh, the khaki one. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a khaki. No. One. You guys are one of the only that sell stuff like this in San Francisco. Huh? That's left, yeah. Yeah, I think there's one on Kate, right? Or something like that. That closed. Can oh, it's surplus? closed? That's what I heard. It's like a little surplus or whatever. Yeah. Thanks again, man. Right on, man. Have a good one. You too. Man, that store had like everything. Literally, that store had everything in there. There was every Carhartt piece, every Dickies piece. Well, besides, apparently they didn't have the khaki one. I'm sure I can just buy it online, but sometimes buying it in person is like, it feels better. I don't know, I don't know how to explain that, but. Anyways, with that said, I'm happy with that I got my pickup. Only 60 bucks. My phone died, but better news is that I got my wings in the mail. I just opened this up. Hopefully, the wings for the drone works. We're gonna go test it right now. Let's go put it on the drone. All right, I'm up in the city right now, pretty close to the uh, the Golden Gate. I mean, it's not that close, but I'm close enough where I can maybe get some drone shots. And this is this is the redemption. This is the part two. Y'all saw me crash the shit. Then I had to fix it. Y'all saw that. Now we back up in the city, you know, and I'm I'm getting my. I'm getting mines, okay? I'm gonna go get some drone shots, at least something of the Golden Gate. It's, I gotta get the bridge. I've always been doing the Bay Bridge. I might as well migrate a little bit north, you know what I'm saying, to go get the bridge and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, anyways, let's get these drone shots and then run some other footage. <laughs> I'm like semi-satisfied with that whole experience. I wish I could go to the other side somehow, but I don't think you can. And then also, I didn't feel like climbing up the hill, but you know, it is what it is, man. Anyways, I tried my best. Honestly, I thought I was gonna be able to fly it over, which I shouldn't be doing, but I really, I wanted to sh fly it right over it. But my signal was already losing. I don't know what it is, but the signal is kind of weak once you get up to the Golden Gate. Um, but yeah, so I, try, I tried my best, I tried my best. And uh, we gonna cut to some other footage now. south bay right now i'm about to hit up the camera store because i'm fed up and i need to get a new camera the cameras i'm using right now which is the one i'm filming on the canon m50 and then i use my cell phone cell phone is fine uh the drone is fine i just need new wings but the quality on this the minute the sun goes down or anytime i'm in a little bit of a low light this camera is obsolete it doesn't even work you know what i mean and i just need i need something that can can do really good low light and what better camera to do so than a sony i used to own the a7s2 i never had enough time to actually use the camera to really know the actual specs of it and things like that but i figured it's time it is time to spend that money which is it's kind of expensive but it's time to spend that money to go get um one of you know one of them sony things because i need one i need one of them you feel me's in my life to make some of these b-roll shots look better i think it's time it's time for an upgrade that's for sure so let's just head over there now and see if they have it
Yeah. I'm looking for the a7 III. You have a uh, like a wide angle lens to go with it. The one I'm using right now, I have a Canon right now. I have, I'm using like an 11 to 23 or 20, I don't even know, 22 or something like that. 24. 24, yeah, there you go, the common one. Okay, okay. is that auto, does that have autofocus yeah. in it as well? Yeah. yeah. And how much is that? Looks like it's on sale for seven ninety nine. And how much is the body? Maybe something. Is it? It's only literally the body and a battery, and that's it. Um. Okay. So there's actually two hundred off on the on the body. Oh sweet. Do you have an extra battery as well? Uh yeah. Yeah. I'll I take an extra I battery should. I'll, I'll double check on that. But yeah. Hopefully it's not ten cents. But yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. All right. What's done is done. What's done is done. I got myself the a7 III. You know, when you buy cameras, if anyone knows when you buy cameras, once you buy this, it's not over. You think it's over, it's not over, boy. You gonna need, this doesn't have a flip out screen, so I gotta buy an external. I gotta buy more batteries. I probably need a different lens, even though this is a 10 to 18. Um, they didn't have the full frame, I guess, uh, wide angle lens that goes with it. Uh, that was a Sony brand. They had some like off brand, whatever, but, Anyways, man, um, yeah, we got to go back, charge this shit up, and let's see how this is rocking. I can finally put better B-roll together for you guys, because the camera I'm using right now, anytime I do B-roll in, inside, like, studio lighting, it is so choppy, and it is so gritty. It's just so frustrating that now, finally I have come to, to buy this, you know what I'm saying? And I, I needed to. This, is, this was well needed, so... Hopefully this works out for me. Now I gotta learn how to use this shit. How we looking on set the set real quick? Hopefully, I mean, not hopefully, this is a full frame camera, so I, I mean, it should fit everything in the frame. In fact, it should be even wider. You might be able to see this better. I don't know about that side, but. man, I gotta say, man, after you, after you go to Sony, <laughs> from Canon to Sony, Brian, you I ain't use a Canon no more, man. You look when you see the quality difference, but even even per dollar, because how much I spent on an A7 III compared to what you can spend with Canon, I really don't think the quality is going to be the same, especially with low light. And this is not low light. I got quite a few lights right here that are kind of showing everything right here. But but even with this, I, I have to use another fourth light for the Canon in this room. Anyways, I don't want to get into it. You guys get it. Sony. <laughs> I'm, I'm team Sony 2021 I'm team Sony and I'm not going back bro I'm not going back anyways let's get into some of these pickups right here um, I do have something that somebody sent me it actually was sent from Lolo from high fashion talk um, if you guys follow high fashion talk hopefully that's focusing I don't know if it's focusing or not um, if you guys follow high fashion talk on Facebook they got Instagram I think they started a YouTube channel as far as I know high fashion talk is like one of the largest, uh, if not is the largest high fashion group page on Facebook, I think. Uh, so, and just kind of randomly, Lolo, the one that owns the, the page, uh, had hit me up and was like, hey, you know, if you want one of these magazines that I made, um, I'll send one out to you. So big shout out to him. Um, I didn't, uh, I was really random. I thought that was pretty cool. On the back it says high fashion talk, but this is a, this is a magazine that he actually made. And I'll kind of flip through some of it here and uh, show you guys some of the images through B-roll, but um, it's really cool. He's got some really, really dope features in here. Um, some some pretty big names too in here as well. I'm not gonna go through it because I haven't I haven't sat down and read this, but 100% I'm going to I'm gonna be reading this. But this is cool. I think this is the first time that they're doing this. Um, so for me, this kind of acts as a little bit of a collector's piece. <laughs> I don't know how many copies were made, but I heard there was a lot, a lot, a lot of copies. Um, that ended up getting sold and I don't know how much you know as of right now I'm indulged into like buying into designer high fashion for the moment because I think where my channel sits and just where I sit this community of clothing is that you know when it, when it comes to designer I'm looking from afar right and anytime designer brands or high fashion brands that I like make anything that is remotely street oriented or street aesthetic I'm going for that, you know, but the other things that might be like more dress up, more professional and, and whatever, I don't know the words to use there necessarily, uh, but I don't really, I don't really pay much attention to those things. I just, I mainly stick within the streetwear realm, as you guys know. That's why a big part of the channel, even for myself, I gravitated towards Balenciaga for a while because much of what you see from Balenciaga right now 
other than the memes is that it's not a streetwear brand that is a high fashion streetwear brand they're like blended in two which a lot of other brands are doing now too like gucci and, and whatever they're a lot of them happen to take the street elements which i like but again I'm, I'm more on the sidelines so for him to send this out like that really uh you know sh big big shout out to him like i, I was um, really surprised and really happy for him to hit me up and then also getting the magazine and i can't wait to sit down and read this now speaking of reading uh, shout out Brave New Wear if you're watching this, bro. I'm pretty sure I saw this on your video. I think it was either your video about um, Ru Porter Blanks and or maybe it was the Carhartt video. I don't know. But he's doing, he's killing it right now. He had a video that hit like 70,000 views in like a week or two weeks or something like that. But he recommended this book, uh, Start With Why. And I, as of 2020, maybe because of the pandemic, not really, but... I found a little bit more time and I found more motivation to start reading into stuff that I actually like and I don't normally read. I finished maybe three or four books as of last year in 2020, but in the new year, I want to start up something new, but I haven't found titles uh, or topics of books that I was willing to just go out and purchase like, like that. But once Brave New Wear uh, recommended this one called Start With Why by Simon Sinek, um, I had to I had to pick it up. I'm very fascinated with like not necessarily business books But I, I like the ones that are like business philosophy or sales philosophy business or marketing especially marketing I love like Seth Godin big shout out to Reggie Reggie was the one that uh, recommended me to uh, The Seth Godin books love the Seth Godin books and I love Seth Godin's pre presentations um, I got obsessed with it for like a whole month or two months. I finished like two of his two or three of his books uh, I, I damn near watched three or four of Seth Godin's, not even three or four, what am I saying? I watched, I almost watched all of Seth Godin's uh, content on YouTube besides the ones that got repetitive, but man, I've, I've watched so much of that stuff because I'm just, I'm completely fascinated with anything marketing uh, related and to read up on it is very different than to just hear it on a podcast or something like that. So shout out Brave New Wear. I'm really interested to see how this goes. With that said though, at this point, I don't even really know what this video is. This is like, this is like vlogging and pickups and and everyday fits and I, yeah man <laughs> let's just uh let's just cut to the other footage <laughs> all right about to head over to the north bay because i can finally finally pick up my bike i haven't had my bike in uh it's been a while it's been maybe it's been a couple months i haven't had it since uh september finally can go pick it up get a little bit of exercise Let's go see what this is looking like. What? No, so that you're careful. What? I'm just gonna go through everything that I've changed on your bike. Well, yeah, cause like I was riding it and then it would, I would, I would hit that front brake and I was like, bro, this shit's not breaking right now. No, cause it's warped. Basically, uh, over time, since yeah. everything is brand new, you have to break it in. It's so tight. Yeah, like, yeah. I had to make more room. Wow, and there's the disc back there too. It's cleared yes. by like it's not even cleared? a centimeter, or yes. like not Paper even a milli thin. millimeter. Look at that, Wait. Real tiny, and yeah, new blue housing. Oh, hey, look at you. Okay, okay, Cardi, I see you go crazy with the shit, boy. Yes. Oh, I can't gas it all. Glass. I can't. No. No. But I like to though. Yes. I like to go fast. If, if, I like to go you, fast. That's why I built this. If you don't want the sound, because <laughs> this is a Frankenstein bike. No one will touch this bike. This is my baby. Yeah, like literally. <laughs> Nobody will touch this bike. This part right here is worth more than your whole bike. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, I hear that. I hear that. I'll probably, most likely, if I get a new bike, I'm going to get it off of you. Like, or if you're selling one, because I, I wouldn't even know. I would have to make it from scratch because. Oh, I'm saying, I, I'm saying like the frame. Like, oh, I, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll cop the frame off of you sure. and then, you know, figure um, something out because, yes. like, I know, I already know that this thing was too heavy, but <laughs> I found oh, that yeah. out way later. It's so heavy. <laughs> That your shocks, your suspension are, are slammed. Man, my suspension go crazy. What you talking about? It is slammed. What? It does not work. No, it's so that heavy. Should, that it's shit go crazy. Oh, uh, well, when so I ride around, it feels like there's suspension, though. No, you don't touch. Bruh, because, like I she said, said, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> um, ne next time you'll see me, you'll definitely get this adjusted. Yeah, um, yeah. No, I feel it. Around. Thank you. See you next time. Yo, she did such a good job with this. It's not even funny. It's not even funny, boy. This shit running so smooth. The gear's going crazy. 
Shout out to her, man. If you need someone to fix your bike, hopefully she can uh, help you out too, If you're, especially if you're out here in the bay. You know what I mean? Boy, this shit. Whew. I'm so happy to get this back. It's not even funny. Okay, uh, pre-warning, pre let me grab <laughs> Fit number one that I showed you, everyday fit number one, is damn near identical to fit number two. <laughs> Literally, that I, I, I told y'all at the beginning, if it's an everyday fit, bro, it's, not, it's, nothing, it's nothing crazy, it's nothing, you know what I mean? It might have a little variation, but other than that, it's not that much different. It feels funny to, to make this like type of video because I mean usually I'm I'm doing like top 10 lists which we're gonna keep we're gonna continue doing those type of videos too but you know those the, like the the very focused geared videos of more about what I say rather than what I wear and I think maybe the beginning of this year and last year I was doing more uh, pickups and like how to style type videos and now we're I'm kind of transitioning back in that direction just a little bit but not too much because Again, a lot of what I wear is not, it's not that crazy, man. Like this jacket is literally the same jacket that I just showed you. <laughs> the same exact Dickies jacket, except a different color. I mean, you guys just saw the footage. I went over to that store. Shout out to that guy. I, I called beforehand to see if they had it and he was super nice. And um, man, that store, like I, like I already said, they got everything in there, man. So if you're ever up in the Mission District up in San Francisco, that might be one of the last stores uh, in Frisco that sell a ton of workwear. Ben Davis, Carhartt, um, all of those brands in there. And they, I think there's one more though on Hate Street, but the guy, the cashier was telling me that they closed down. So I don't know what the deal is there exactly. So if you're in the Bay, go check them out. They got every, they got everything in there, everything you need. But I don't need to talk about my hat because I already talked about that. I don't really need to talk about the jacket. I just think that it's a, night, a better color. It is, I mean, yeah, it's gray, but it has like green or blue undertones. Like even maybe even in the camera that you can see right now. It's, it's a gray, it's like a gray, green, gray, bluish type. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe this type of gray, but I, I like this type of gray and it, it definitely has a better contrast when we look at something that's like black and then looking at something that is, you know, gray color. Um, I got the same t-shirt on as far as an everyday fit goes. And then I think the only other important part to like this uh, or what I'm wearing right now would be the pants. Um, so, so these pants are special because these are the second pair of pants that are going to be coming out. Uh, this is also another pair of pants that uh, are a double knee, very similar to what I showed you over here. So yes, these are the black on black double knee. These are also black on black as far as the denim goes, but the difference is that this is literally black on both sides. So it's black here and it's black on the inside or like a dark, dark charcoal um, type denim color. Since I'm not doing this one, since this fabric is discontinued, I am doing this fabric right here. Hopefully it's pulling up on camera, but it has like little white undertones, which I really like. So hopefully if you guys work in the, these pair of pants and, and hopefully you do, okay? Hopefully you destroy these pants when you get them later when they drop and it also can fade out. And I really want to see if these even happen to have a really nice fade to them um, afterwards. And yes, these are salvaged. Uh, these should be 16 ounce, either 14 or 16 ounce. I just like how the inside of the denim have kind of has like this white color and the outside kind of has white undertones to it. And it, they came out really, really nice. And now I, I gotta say this, man, there's a lot more details to the pants that I'm not gonna get into. And as far as the reason why I constructed the pants that, you know, the way that you're seeing it right here, I don't want to talk about it just yet because this is not a video of like the launch of the pants um, but for sure you can count on it this pair right here whether you love it or you hate it is going to come out this is a pair of pants that I have been working on for a while I've already paid them so I've worked on two the last video you saw um, those should be also coming out uh, no dates on that yet and also no dates on these but these are the two pants that I've been working on um, which is a double knee and then the other one is just a you know straight leg raw denim 16 ounce raw denim Japanese denim uh, these are also Japanese denim um, as well so since we're gonna move on from the pants I definitely got to talk about these right here these are the craft dusts pretty sure this is craft dust right because craft the crafts are just an all white and then the back tab is gray but the craft dust looks like a natural slash neutral gray. I don't know which one is the proper name for it. I had someone call me out in the comments. It's like, it's not neutral gray, it's natural. It's 
school. Whatever, dude. You know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> you know what you I'm saying, bro. Like, and also everyone else says neutral too, and they damn near look like the same word on paper. Um, so yeah, neutral, natural gray type Air Force One. Love this shoe, and this is also the better leather. You cannot, cannot, cannot uh, talk about this sneaker without talking about the leather quality that they put into this. This thing is so soft. This leather reminds me of um, the Rockefeller uh, Air Force Ones and also the earlier pairs, but since I don't want to keep repeating myself, you know, the Rockefeller pair, as far as I know, has better insides, better guts, has a lot more padding on the inside. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive. The resale on that thing is probably like 320 or like 250, two, like 250 at the least, but 320 at the most, maybe somewhere around there. Um, but they do have that really nice leather. I don't know if you consider this tumbled. I, I guess you consider it uh, tumbled or new buck might be the words for that. I don't know. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm saying that wrong. But uh, man, when you put them on, everything about them is super soft. It's it's way different compared to just a regular degular old pair of Air Force Ones. The white the white pairs that they pump out. You can just go on the Nike website and buy those. Trust me, those don't hold a candle. They don't hold a candle to these. I'm saying that because every shoe that I end up having interest in always ends up having resale. And it's like, man, I'm paying this extra money for what? For what? Like, do I really need it? But th in this case, you could pay retail. You can still go on GOAT. You can still go on StockX. You can still go on eBay. You can still go on, I don't know, Grailed maybe. Probably GOAT's your best bet. Uh, probably get to your house in like a week and a half or something like that after they legit check it. But this, this right here, heaven sent. In fact, I need, I need to double back on this. I need to triple back on these. 100% I need to triple back on this, right? I even might need to double back on this one because I like it so much. Even though the guts are better, but as far as the leather goes, not as good as the uh, the craft dust. But um, the colorway on this, I really like. And I still like the prior Air Force One video that I made, which actually had a way better response on that video um, than I thought. But I want this one with the red bottom and then also the tan, I think it's the tan colored one ones. And just lately, wearing white shoes for me, especially Air Force Ones, Babe Stoes and stuff, really started, it started this year. It started this year. I don't know, I don't know what it is. I, I like having like an all black outfit um, in a particular fit, of course, and just something regular, you know, like a, a Carhartt jacket or a um, Eisenhower jacket, the Dickies one, um, a workwear type jacket, like a boxy-ish tee, wash black tee, and then black denim, black raw denim, iron hard tee, Visu, my own brand something like that, sugar cane or something. And then I, I finish it off with a pair of Air Forces, like <laughs> a pair of all, either all whites or something that is a little bit more tough to get dirty. Something like the the 1-800 Air Force ones that I wore uh, in the prior video. I just, I've grown an obsession right now of buying that. And that's kind of where I sit. Now I close in this like smaller portion of the video out. I'm sure people are watching this right now and they're like, dude, this guy literally is wearing some old regular degular shit and I, I don't blame you man and I agree with you. This like, what I have, there's nothing, there's really nothing crazy special about this. Maybe somewhat of the fit of what I'm wearing, it, it, that's about it. And then sometimes I'm more particular on the type of materials that go into an A of one. Uh, but other than that, <laughs> I, I, I keep it simple man. I, I don't feel the need to like have to bust down and buy hella designer or or crazy grail coveted pieces from past designers like Rick and Raph. Like, don't get me wrong, I would love to do research on those types of brands, but as of right now, I'm I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. And I'm and I'm working on my own stuff to potentially make and hopefully for those who like it too, then you know you can buy into it. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. It's the name of the game. By the way, um, about to meet up with Christian Valley Fair. I'm already here right now, waiting on him at, right now in the parking lot. So, <laughs> bro, I wanted to go to Lululemon. <laughs> bro, bro, I want to go to Lululemon though. <laughs> so we gotta we gotta go to Lululemon, and I do want to check out uh, another um, like utility type work workwear store pretty close to here in San Jose. Um, see what they got. I'm looking for. I'm still looking for that khaki that khaki joint. So, anyways, with that said, uh, let's see what Christian talking about. How you been, bro? 
What's up, baby? Okay. Oh, I do, I do want to go to this. Uh, I think there's like another place that sells some dickies and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, let's go. Like jackets and shit. So I want to check that out uh, later. Is it on Stevens Creek? No, no, I don't know if they. I think that's mainly Carhartt. You're talking about the surplus. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we can go, off, we can go there too. But yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, but well, we'll check it out there. Uh, you, so you want to go to Lulu, huh? Well, I was gonna go to Lulu. I just, I just want a pair of forces. That's it. I mean, if they have something nice, sure. Appreciate you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, of course. I didn't know you were from San Jose. That's why. Well, I'm from the Bay, not from yeah, San Jose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it though. Once. That's pretty terrible. So we went in. Literally, no. I went in there just for Air Forces. They have no Air Force ones in there. <laughs> Crazy. I guess business is pretty bad right now. Who knows? Cheek is gone, right? Cheek is gone. They do have shoe pals though. A little shoe pals and then we'll massive the shoe. Bro, these lines are just getting bigger and bigger, bro. Look at this shit. Boy, what? So, oh, I'm asking him this. Oh, do you know? This is the San Jose uh, uh, Shoe Palace quiz, all right? What's the first Shoe Palace? Uh, easy, basketball. Damn it. No. She gave you the answer, man. No, no, no. no. Technically, it, store one is basketball, but Tully Road, not Tully Road, Eborn. Eborn was technically built before Tully One. This motherfucker won't get technical. It started at the flea market. That motherfucker started at the flea. No, don't quiz me. I uh, appreciate you. Thank you. I mean, I would never buy this, but I mean, it's cool to look at. Funky material. Interesting. How much was that hat, dude? Right. Hey, like 120. 120? Oh, this is my cousin. Don't worry, I want, I want to show you. Right? I want to see if you, you got chop mop, boy. You got that U Pong, 120 U Pong, boy. Okay, bro, I see you. Shout out, kill the hype. What's it say? If you ain't the most hated, what the, what, 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 what are you? Oh, got it. Most hated. Got it. Okay. All right, bro. I see you, bro. Hey, other people use this. Is this just straight off his website or what? Oh, uh, my homie got it for me. So that I, got, I got to give, I got to give it to the guy, man. You know, flipping, flipping the damn logos. That shit just went crazy. Right? A hundred and, is that retail? A hundred and... I don't know if this one was a hundred. I think it was lower than that, to be honest. I don't know. Really? I know this one was like one of the more expensive ones. Yeah. Also, that's probably what. When did this come out? You know? Uh, this one. I don't remember exactly. I think it was over. It had to be over something. Like that. Oh. I want to say. If it was re yeah, if it was recent, probably that's why he's not using the LA logo right now. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's my guess. I don't know. Cause he did have a. He had a Black Friday restock. Of this? Of well, like just random hats. Got it. So yeah, he's making a killing. Hundred yeah. times, even if you do three, four hundred of those, Jesus. Hell yeah. Yeah. Quickly, a shout out Christian. And I didn't really post the rest of the footage there because a lot of the footage was really choppy. Um, I did want to kind of segment this, and I was I was talking about that kill the hype hat, and to kind of transition here. Um, I did make the fitteds that I promised that I was going to make. And since I'm already showing you guys like some samples that I went through and also some of the uh, other denim later on in this video or right now, uh, of that, that's going to be coming out a little bit later, I might as well just go ahead and show you the hat, right? So you guys know I've been wearing this. I literally just talked about this. Um, this fitted to me is like perfect for me. The shape of it is perfect. The height of the crown is perfect. But that said, I ended up making my own fitted. And this time around, we're not going the MLB route and like using logos and whatever. But don't get it confused though, because the Yankee joint is still coming. There is going to be a restock of the Frisco hat as well. But um, I figured that I kind of put my own logo on it. And no, we're not gonna stop here as far as, I, this is just a sample. I made a black and white hat just to see what it looks like. I do have to kind of tweak the sizing uh, of the logo as well. And when you look on the inside, uh, you're gonna have the white guts, but it's not its not white guts though. The color is actually like an off-white sail color for the band. Even though this is the white band on the inside, I know people, sometimes you're more active, you might sweat in your hat, or even for myself, I went sweating it. It starts to turn brown. So instead, you know, you got that vintage looking band on the inside, sail color band on the inside, so it doesn't, It'll get dirty. It's harder for it to get dirty. It's got the own branding on the inside and it's got the better front, but I'm I'm gonna save that information. I'm gonna tell you why that is so important later on, but I'm super happy about this. The shaping of this hat is incredible. I just, you know what I'm talking about? Boy, I'm just, whoo! Boy, this thing go, go so crazy. This shit is going so crazy, you know? But uh, man, like I got so many ideas and so many plans 
um, of what I want to do with making the fitteds because you know I, I had worn fitteds shit since high middle school and high school man I, I I've owned so many fitteds and I've always just been a huge hat fan and now finally coming to it where I finally found a, a really really good plug that is is really able to manufacture these things like to everything that I'm looking for really I'm, I'm not even kidding but I'm gonna save those details for later I just wanted to show you guys this I think it actually came out really nice no of course no dates yet but it's because this is literally the first sample I got this in literally today um, but I'm super happy N normally I'm not happy with the first sample let's put it that way but with the first one I gotta say I'm I'm pretty impressed I'm pretty impressed anyways that said man like uh, I don't know if I have anything else to end with here I think I'm gonna end this video here this is kind of a long one and I purposely purposely save this for the end of the video because I know analytic wise if you look at how many people actually stay throughout the whole video it's you know very few to none usually it's maybe a retention of like 10 minutes 15 minutes at most or six minutes at the least somewhere around there on average so I'm putting this info at the end for those who are serious and people that stick around to the end of the videos and again I just big appreciation to everybody that's uh, been rocking with the channel so anyways officially officially closing this out again thank you so much for making it to the end of this and um, it ain't easy being keezy I'll see you next time peace